Will impending reports from the giants of the Nasdaq ease or exacerbate investor worries? Here to help us answer this question and more is Malcolm Etheridge of CIC Wealth. He is also a CNBC contributor and Nicole Webb of Wealth Enhancement Group here at PostNet. Welcome to you both. Uh, Malcolm, I'd uh, love to hear you read uh, quickly on today's action. We've been almost uh, complaining, at least some of us have, about the uh, lack of movement in the indexes. We have had this low volatility period today familiar but I guess reminders of, uh, of a slowdown fear out in the economy, consumer confidence taking a hit, and then a mixed bag of earnings seems to have uh, jolted the markets along with those bank concerns with First Republic. So is it just a blip or is it the start of something worse? Yeah, Mike, I don't think the, the calm will continue throughout the rest of this week. I think we're probably going to get whipsawed around over the next three days throughout each trading day as new earnings continue to come out, and especially after you hear about uh, the uh, Microsoft and, and Alphabet uh, movements. 40%, uh, I think, of the S&P is scheduled to report before Friday, so I definitely think we're going to get some movement one way or another before the week is over. That said, um, Nicole, the, on balance, the reports are coming in, in aggregate anyway, um, better than expected. Uh, the S&Ps are basically a couple percent off the highs for the month, so it's not as if it's, it's really rushing lower. Uh, and again, it's not particularly new that we are worried about a slowing economy. So how do you think the market is absorbing it? Uh, and I guess the, the regional bank stress is this other thing that's nagging uh, at psychology. Yeah, and I, I would also add that we had the news break this morning that we think that tax revenue was off about 35 percent on the heels of no capital gains last year. So that pushes that debt conversation a bit further or closer into the future as opposed to further away. When we couple that with some of the, yes, the consumer is not yet balking at the fact that we have passed along higher and higher prices, inflation remains so sticky, the labor market is being resilient. So that brings us to that Fed meeting in May, the likelihood that the 25 basis points does occur, and then where do we go from there? So to some degree, is it just kind of the sell-off of looking backwards, which is what we're reporting on now, positive, but going forward, we haven't seen expectations rise to the downside, but we're hearing a lot hangs on the consumer and their ability to keep spending.